changes around us reversible change a change is said to be reversible if the object that has undergone the change can be brought back to its original form again no new material is formed in a reversible change the material changes its appearance but not its composition for example melting of a substance is a reversible change when ice butter or chocolate melt they can change back into their solid form when cooled when a liquid is cooled it changes into a solid if we keep the water back into the freezer it will become ice the process by which a liquid changes back into its solid form is called freezing boiling evaporation and condensation are reversible changes irreversible changes a change is said to be irreversible if the object has undergone the change cannot be brought back to its original form again for example if an egg has been fried into an omelet we cannot change an omelet back into the original egg thus it is an irreversible change since irreversible changes cannot be undone they are permanent such changes result in the formation of new materials heating and mixing substances can cause irreversible changes for example when we mix a little curd with milk yogurt is formed as it cannot be changed back to milk solution a solution is formed when two or more substances mix together such that they are evenly distributed when we mix salt in water the salt completely dissolves in water after some time and the salty water is known as a solution solvent the substance in which a solute dissolves is called solvent water is the solvent here since most solvent dissolve in water it is known as universal solvent solute the substance that dissolve is called solute here salt is the solute soluble substances substances that dissolve in water are called soluble substances salt milk and sugar are common solutes that dissolve in water insoluble substance substances that do not dissolve in water are called insoluble substances sand mud glass pebbles and oil are insoluble substances mixtures a mixture is a substance made by combining two or more different substances in such a way that no chemical reaction occurs a mixture of solid particles of different sizes can be separated by sieving or hand picking for example sand and gravel flour and bran pulses and grit the process of sieving is also used to separate pebbles and stones from sand at construction sites filtration by filtration we can separate mixture of water and insoluble substances like chalk and sand by passing the mixture through a filter paper the insoluble substances remain on the filter paper and water gets collected below an example of filtration used at homes is the separation of tea leaves from tea using a strainer evaporation By dissolving salt in water we make a solution the salt disappears into water we can separate the salt from water by boiling the solution the water will evaporate until it is gone the salt will be left behind if we put a lid on the water vapor that evaporates we can cool it to form water again by the process of condensation now let's recall matter keeps changing around us there are different kinds of changes that occur in our day to day lives a change is said to be reversible if object that has undergone the change can be brought back to its original form again 
a reversible change may cause the material to change in its appearance but not its composition no new material is formed in a reversible change a change is said to be irreversible if the object that has undergone the change cannot be brought back to its original form again a solution is formed when two or more substances mix together such that they are evenly distributed substances that dissolve in water are called soluble substances whereas substances that do not dissolve in water are called insoluble substances a mixture is a substance made by combining two or more different substances in such a way that no chemical reaction occurs we can usually separate the components of mixture one by one or by many processes like hand picking sieving filtration and evaporation